guys welcome back to my channel so again back today with you know one eye done and i'm gonna do this eye on camera so if you want to see what look you know i created on this eye on this eye you already know what to do keep on watching <laughs> So yeah, so I'm going for like a pinky, mauve kind of look today. Um, for this look, I'm actually using these two palettes from Makeup by Orlando. I'm using Protonic Pinks and Burning Burgundies. So yeah, I only use one shade from this palette, but yeah, we're just gonna jump in and get this going I've already primed my lid I am um I have pillowy's base today and I'm just tamping this to make sure I have no creases and we're just gonna jump in here so I'm going in with this E13 brush from Morphe and we're gonna go into this shade right here which is the darkest shade in the pan I love this brush like for packing it's perfect gonna go have dinner with a friend I haven't seen her in like since this entire pandemic thing started like so this look is actually pretty easy now I'm gonna go into this shade right here and just like a really almost like a lavender kind of shade and I'm just gonna use this to like just blend here This shade is very light, so it's like perfect. This look is so easy, like it's so easy. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm just gonna take a little bit, just put it right here. I feel like I'm more kind of just like dull and dull that red, so it's not just so red or pink. Oh, and this is on uh, all these brushes I'm using is from uh, Makeup by Orlando. This is a Y210. <clears throat> Sorry, and then the one before that was a Y216, but the first one was from Morphe. Morphe. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this palette real quick. But I'm gonna go back in. So I'm gonna go into this one right here, which is the burning burgundies. And I'm gonna go into this shade. And again, I'm just gonna darken this even more. So it's not so red or pink. Now I'm gonna go back to this shade, that little pinky one, and then back to this palette. Now I'm gonna go into this E60 from Sigma. I'm gonna get some of my NYX glitter glue. Put them at the back of my hands. Now we're gonna go into this shade right here. Somebody mowing, oh. Sometimes there's so much beauty in the world it makes my heart burst. It's just some trash blowing in the wind. Do you have any idea how complicated your circulatory system is? I don't know. I feel like this shimmer is like a little bit patchy, like right here. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with... <clears throat> this is... My throat is so dry. This is a gel liner. It's Expert Dual Liner from She Glam. And we're gonna put some hourglass mascara.
and I'm gonna put my dual lash glue. And I'm gonna use my Dubai lashes. I try to lie, these are not Dubai. These are Bad and Bougie from Makeup Shop. I have to clean up the lash. Just make sure I'm cleaning all my hands. Okay. So now that the eyes are done, we push my little hair thingy back and we're gonna go into the face. I'm going out, so let's go with my milk hydro grip actually before i do that let me put a little bit of moisturizer and this is my pharmacy moisturizer just a little bit now i'm going in with my hydro grip from milk Okay, now we need to, you know, I'm gonna use this brush right here. This is from the crown brush set that I got from BoxyCharm. And I'm gonna go in with my bric a brac from MAC. And we're gonna put a little bit under here. Just a little corrector and then my smile line. See? A little bit here. And same thing over here. And that is it. I'm going too crazy. Okay, now for foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and use this foundation on my okay, that's fine. I'm gonna use my 732 from Loxy with my NARS Soft Complete Foundation. Make sure you're stamping around the mouth because that's where foundation tend to like kind of separate. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know I do not put a lot of foundation on my forehead. I don't know, like it's just there's just no need for it. So, you guys see what I did? I've been doing the most all list I put some corrector on the one eye and not the other eye See, right here by my nose okay no I'm gonna use my 10 actually no I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. In just a little bit on that, you know, five head. So now I'm gonna go in. Yeah, I'm gonna use this foundation stick from Black, Black, Black Opal and that shade is cut up. And I'm gonna use my E34 from Morphe. 
just gonna blend this I'm looking at my time you know I do have to be somewhere yep now we are gonna blend that concealer if I can find my concealer brush this is fine this is a fluff brush from La Luce we can use this stamp 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 your concealer and then I take my bronzer brush and I go to the edge like so see so I just kind of like separates it and then I go in on under the other eye stamp 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 because before this you can see like there's like two lines and then here it's more kind of you know you can still see where the concealer ends and the contour start but it's still like kind of more of a seamless finish now we're gonna do the same thing Brush. and let's set that real quick with my Muda brush and I'm setting my face with my Laura Mercier powder oh, under my eyes, sorry. This is what happens when you lick your spilled latte off the steering wheel. She did that, she's gross. Powder, you're making me want to sneeze. Are you there? Then I have to try to sneeze, old lady, like. I'm just joking. If it comes, it, it comes. I, oh. I'm gonna set my face with this, which is my Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is so nice. Like this, I got this from Skims, and I think I'm gonna get the blacks because I just feel like they're just so perfect and they're so soft and stretchy. Okay, let's go under the eye real quick. Just, just, you know, I just need some pillow with base. And I'm putting that on a crown pencil brush. I'm gonna go in actually with just this shade first, which is that dark, dark shade. Okay, let's see what pencil I can put here. I think I have like a burgundy-ish pencil. I feel like that might go. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and use Alkaline from Urban Decay. No, well, let's dust off this mess. Oh my god, this is like everywhere. Oh. I'm gonna go to make a biolander. This is like 217. This looks exactly like the M506. You know, like my favorite brush ever. And I'm gonna go into this light and just dust this up. I'm gonna go back to that glitter and I'm just gonna bring this down. It is all good. Now let's go in with some bronzer. So bronzer in here that I haven't used for a minute, which is my Bobbi Brown bronzer. And I'm using that on my tapered face brush from La Rousse. And let's do a little bit on the nose. Nothing crazy. 
Let's go in with burnt pepper from Mark. And let's go in with some highlighter. I don't want to do too much highlighter. But I don't know what the meaning of too much highlighter is. So we'll see. This is So Hollywood Loose Highlighter from ABH. And I want to go in very little. And this is an ABH brush as well. So I'm using the loose highlighter and a brush from ABH. I don't want to go too crazy. Ooh, that's already a lot. That's enough, because I'll be out there, you know, doing the most with the highlighter. I don't want to go crazy bright. Actually, I think I'm going to do stone from Dose of Colors with a dark with this this is from huda beauty is the lip contour 2.0 and almost break that mirror yup So let's take this off. Actually, before I do that, let me put on my earrings real quick. Just make it wide so it covers this black thingy. Okay, so that's it, guys, for this video. I had, I mean, again, it's a makeup by Orlando palette. I have so much, so much fun with this, you know videos or just using her products because they're so good they're so good so that's it for this video don't forget to like subscribe join the family anybody know what i'll see you on my next video bye guys